what's up guys welcome to the youtube channel where we post basketball stuff tech stuff and other stuff please subscribe if you want to see more all right today's topic is on russell westbrook i've been seeing too much hate on this man for no reason out of nowhere these past couple seasons and i'm kind of tired of it this is arguably a top 10 point guard of all time and i mean you could even say he's a top five point guard if you want to say he's better than chris paul and john stockton who if i be honest have made it just as far in the playoffs as Westbrook in, in most of their seasons. I'd argue him and Curry went back and forth these past couple seasons for the best point guard in the league. And somehow people are forgetting this for some random reason. People keep on bashing this man for no reason. So I'm here to once and for all defend this man's legacy because he does not deserve this disrespect. People be like, KD didn't want to play with Westbrook because you're selfish, but that's literally not true. Y'all remember when KD used his burner account to tweet out the fin where he said where him and Russ couldn't play with other OKC guys? I'll say that again. Him and Russ. Russ was never the problem that KD had. It was the teammates around him. I think KD was a bit wrong in his judgment because the team was kind of good and their top 7 players were all under 27. But still, he didn't mention Russ at all. In the series that they blow through and lead to the Warriors, Westbrook averaged 27, 7, 11 with 4 steals per game over 7 games. And he shot better from 3 than KD. Westbrook was not the reason KD left OKC. Poor management decisions like trading away James Harden to save money and the team they had in the playoffs was the reason he left. People like to bring up Westbrook's playoff success to belittle his achievements, but he's played his entire career up to this season in the Western Conference. It's not like winning championships in the West is easy. I mean, since the 2011-2012 season, every team that has won the finals has included either LeBron, Kawhi, or Curry. Westbrook's played with none of those guys, yet he competes every season as hard as he can to try and win a chip. Let's look at this man's playoff history. In 2010, Westbrook lost to the Lakers, which won the championship. In 2011, he lost to the Mavs, which won the championship. In 2012, he lost to the Heat, who won the championship. In 2013, Westbrook was injured and only played two games. In 2014, Westbrook lost to the Spurs, who won the championship. In 2015, KD missed like the entire season and Westbrook only played 67 games, so the Thunder missed out. In 2016, Westbrook lost to the Warriors, who won the championship. In 2017, after KD left, Westbrook carried OKC to the playoffs, and they got beat by the better team, the Rockets. In 2018, Westbrook's 30, 12, and 8 with 2 steals wasn't enough to carry OKC. In 2019, Westbrook could have similar numbers and lost to the Blazers. Although this season he didn't, his shooting wasn't that great so I would probably put a bit of blame on him. And then again, in 2020, Westbrook was coming off an injury and lost to the Lakers who won the championship. If this man's gonna lose in the playoffs, he's most likely gonna lose to the team that wins the championship. There's no shame in that. 28 other teams also do the same thing, yet he puts a battle up each year and people still like to hate. So a lot of people say Westbrook's not that good anymore and I just don't understand this. I'm gonna put the stats of two players here, uh, tell me who's better. So one of these guys is considered for some reason now the best point guard in the league and the other is literally the most hated. This is Westbrook and this is Damian Lillard. Now, how is this possible? I just don't get it. They both have the exact same career field goal, while Lillard has 0.6, uh, 0.6 better shooting from three, but people consider these players in different stratospheres. It just doesn't make any sense. This season honestly could have been even better for Westbrook if this if his start was a bit better. After all, he spent 11 seasons in OKC, and he just came to a new team, so what do you expect? However, in a 36-game stretch before the pandemic, Westbrook averaged 31, 8, and 7 on 51% shooting. Those numbers are insane and almost on par with his MVP numbers. He's still one of the best players in the NBA. In the playoffs, he rushed back from injury because the Rockets were in a close series they're supposed to blow out versus the Thunder. So it's understandable why he didn't do as good, but they still made it to the second round. Then he faced the Lakers, who were expected to win the championship, and they lost. Like exactly how they were supposed to. For some reason, people just started bashing Westbrook and Harden too, even though they were like they were supposed to lose to the Lakers. I don't know what people were expecting, to be honest. 
and that too Westbrook came off a bad injury. People literally be hating on this man every opportunity get for no reason, even when they know what's gonna happen. Alright, that's my video on why Russell Westbrook is overhated. Uh, please subscribe, like the video for the YouTube algorithm, and share this video with friends. Thank you very much. Bye.